Okay, so in this video, I am going to take this Raspberry Pi 3 that I've had for a long time and I'm going to try and install ZSORX on it, but not in the GUI. I'm going to do it on the Raspberry Pi Lite. Okay, so first things first, the easiest way to image a Pi is using the Raspberry Pi Imager. So I'm going to download that from the site here. Okay, so now I've got it installed, I can go into that, run it and choose the Raspberry Pi I'm going to use, the OS I'm going to install. Now, I am not going to install with a desktop. I am going to install the, the light version. I'm going to do everything all in the command line um, side of things. So choose some storage and next. And you can set up some custom settings so you can preset your, your logins and everything, your Wi-Fi. It's super easy. Um, to set up this way and makes life so much easier um so yeah we're going to apply that here so we'll apply it and we'll write that to the drive this will take quite a while so i'll i'll speed this bit up okay so verifying make sure everything's right yeah all done so that's it that that is now ready to put into the pi 3 and begin trying to set this up Okay, so here we are. There's the card. I'm going to put it in and just slots in. There we go. And once in, we can boot this up and then we can try and connect to it. To make life easier, I'm going to connect to this using Putty to SSH onto it. Um, it's just going to be a lot easier. So I've got the IP from the um, boot when it finished booting. So here I am, I'm in Putty, I'm going to log in to it um, from my from my PC and that way it's just a lot easier to um, to manage it. So I'm logging in with those credentials that I'd already set. So there we go, yeah, I am logged in now um, with SSH across to the Pi 3. So we can start looking at getting the uh, software over there and installed. Okay, so this is the installer I'm going to use. It's a Zsorox installer and updater. Um, I'm going to download the .sh file, and that's what I'm going to use to get this on the Pi. Okay, so I'm going to use a secure copy from my PC. So I'm back in my PC's command line here. I know the IP address of, of my Pi. I know the username. I know the password. So I can um, use secure copy to copy the Zsorox installer um, over to the Raspberry Pi. So here we are. Just enter the details in. If I get this right, it will uh, let me copy that file over, which won't take long. Oh, there's something wrong here. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, typo. So run that. Do I accept it? Yes. And then enter the password that I set in the um, setup on the Raspberry Pi installer. And there we go, job done. Files are installed. Back over to Putty now. So we're going to install the Sorux by running the, the shell script. So I can see it listed there. So we're going to run it with the bash dot forward slash and then zsorux.sh. That is going to run it. So we do that now. And there we go. Okay, so option number four first is install essential build packages. I'm going to run that and let that let that complete. It's going to take ages, so I am going to skip ahead to when it's finishing. Okay, so this there you go. It's finished now. So what we're doing is we're going to go back and run option number one, which do, which will install Zsorox um, on this Pi. So let's choose that. Option number one. And that will go away and pull in all the files, install everything. Again, this is going to take ages. I don't know why it takes so long, but it does take a very, very long time. So we will skip ahead.
Right, that is now installed. Fantastic. So now we can um, jump over to the um, Pi itself and I'm gonna run it directly. I've got it plugged into a monitor, etc. So let's jump over and have a look at that. Okay, so now that we've got that installed, um, I'm going to jump over here to the um, actually Raspberry Pi itself. I've got the screen here. So I'm going to see what happens if we try and run the Sorux from the uh, Raspberry Pi Lite install. So I'm kind of curious what, it, what it's going to look like. Um, so let's give, let's give it a go. So we'll log in. Uh, Right, okay, so we're in. So, we, where are we? Are we um, in the right place? I think it's in the. I think there's a change to the source. And I think there's another folder in there. Let's have a look. Yeah. CD. Z. Sorox. Okay. Yeah. And then I think it's another level. Yeah. Uh, yeah, source again, so SRC again, so let's have a look. So well, now we're in here, should be all the applications, etc. Yeah, there we go. Everything is in here. So let's try and give it a go. Now, as I understand it, you have to do like a forward, a dot forward slash to make this run, because I haven't added it to the path. Oops. Type up. Can't type and talk. So Z Sox. Okay, let's give it a go. Hey, look at that. It works. Ah, oh, cool. Um, yeah, so we've got like a different it's different to when we do it on Windows, but we've got a no, I don't know whether it does that or not. We've got a temperature, temperature of the the CPU there, that's cool. Right, see if we can get rid of these uh, messages. So we've got an error for audio. Okay. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Okay, let's select English language. Uh, do you want to enable real video? Uh, yeah, okay, we'll do that. Do you want auto save? Uh, yeah, might as well. Do you want to enable first aid help? No, let's not do that. Let's see if we can get that turned off. Interesting, I've got a keyboard here and the, the arrow keys don't work, but they do on the number pad. So, okay, that. Tool tips, no. Enable visible shortcuts, uh, yeah, okay. After completing, da 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 da, F5. Okay, we're done. Okay, so there we go. So we're off. We've obviously got a, a ZX Spectrum loaded up there. So let's see if we can change the machine to. I don't know. Let's go for a plus two. Plus two. Uh, yeah. Well, one twenty-eight k. Let's go with that. Yeah. Awesome. Very small on the screen. Um, let's look how you get the menu up. F5. Let's go for settings. Can we make this any bigger? Main window, maybe. Window zoom. Let's go full screen. Ah, uh, that's slightly disappointing. <laughs> um, why is it doing that? Let's um, let's change the window zoom. It's on. I can't do anything on that. I'm gonna be able to exit out of full screen. Exit full screen. Change window zoom. Let's, let's go four. Oh, too big. So one, so let's go three then. Ah, 
there we are. That's a bit better. Um, I thought you'd be able to get full screen um, without all the uh, everything showing in the background, but auto change in the big screen. So what happens if I go to full screen now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not going to worry too much about that for now. Um, let's go back. Sorry, I want that in the middle again. Settings, main window, full screen, off. Settings. Zoom. It's got three. Okay, that. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so there we go. That is running. So now I'm going to copy... Um, I'll copy a, a couple of games over and we'll give that a try and see what happens. Now that it's up and running, let's copy some files over some games. So I've got a couple of games in here. I've got a Spectrum game and a ZX81 game. So Mazog's there, ZX81, Invaders, Spectrum, um, two classics. Those great games. So let's do secure copy again. So we're going to copy over these directly to the um, Pi. So there we go. Same command as before. Let that do its thing. Again, these files are tiny, so they're going to take milliseconds <laughs> to copy over. But yeah, uh, password. In. There we go. All done. And the next one, which is Mazogs. Again, copy that over, same way. Secure copy is great for, the, for this, it's just brilliant. And password in, and that should do it, yeah. That's copied over, so there we go. All done and dusted, so let's cut over to the Pi itself again. Right, so I've copied those files over, so they should be in that um, route for the user. So let's try just to launch these. We'll use the smart load. The smart load should just automatically load it up with the right um, machine. So let's see where we can find that. So where are we now? We want to go back a couple of directories, I think. Yeah, there we go. So let's give the um, let's give the Spectrum game a go first. In murders, a classic, awesome game. Let's give this a go. Oh, look at that! That yeah, looks brilliant. Look how crisp everything is. Let's see whether we can get a, a game running here. Uh, da, 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 da. Space to fire. Okay. Frame rate showing fifty frames per second. So let's go. There we go. One player. Yes. Look at that. Oh, no sound though. I wonder why the sound's not working. Whether I'm going to get the sound fixed in this video. Probably not. This, you know, when this came out, I think this was an absolutely brilliant port of this game, remake of this game. And I take it. Um, had some brilliant games. Battlezone was another one that was really, really good in the early days. These are really early days of the ZX Spectrum. Anyway, that works fine. I want to sit there playing that. Um, okay, let's give a another game a go. Let's go for it's a ZX eighty one game. So obviously, you're not a problem with no sound. Mazox. Let's give this one a go. Oh, look at that. It's doing like some kind of preview. Did it do that on the other one? Let's have a look. It does, yeah. It gives some kind of like preview, doesn't it? Right, let's try this one. Let's see what happens. I'm not typing that. It does it itself. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Let's see if we can kick it off. Try it out. Uh, w, A, D, and X. We've got terrible keys. There's ready. Press any key. OK. 
here. Which way? Left or right? Let's go left. Not doing anything. There we go. Press on the key. Okay, situation report. 166 moves. Right, there we go. So I'll get the sword. Let's go along here. So we'll fight. With a sword to our win. Yes. Yeah, brilliant. So what we got? Uh, 55 degrees. CPU temp. 50 frames per second. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly heavy duty stuff for it, is it? But um, yeah, so that's running on my... Um, let me flick that down you can see. It's a very old... Uh, that's a Raspberry Pi 3. So it's an old, old machine. But yeah, I kind of... I mean, you know, there's better versions of better ways of doing it, but I just wanted to see what happened if I tried to install... The Linux version of the Sorox on here. I didn't pick the um, the the Pi installer. I just I found a, a Linux um, uh, install script that dot sh. Installed it from there. So yeah, it does work. Um, yeah, brilliant. Oh well, uh, I'll have a little play around see if I can make the sound work. Um, but I probably won't show that in this video. Well. Hope you enjoyed watching this and I will see you on the next video.